one. The carousel can be used to create a slide show. Here, we will have a one second delay between each slide. Two. Since this is an application, we need the app class. The carousel widget is the super class of the root. We use the clock to create a one second timer. Three. The root is based on carousel. The update function runs the carousel. Load next function to load the next slide. Four. In the build of the app, a title is set and a continuous one second timer is started. Five. In the KV file, a dynamic class, my image is created so the images are stretched. Six. For the root, the direction of carousel is right and looping is true. Here, we have the first two images. Seven. The next three slides are of images P3, P4 and P5. 8. In the result, we can see that the carousel has five images and then it loops over the same five images. If we did not have a timer, we could swipe in right or left direction to go next or to the previous slide. 9. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.